Hi guys, let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 12. A tank 20 meter long, 12 meter wide and 8 meter deep is to be made of iron sheet. Okay. Uh, this is open at the top, which means we will need to make only the four walls and the base. The ceiling is not there. Okay. So there are five faces now, right? Five faces, no ceiling. Find cost of iron sheet at the rate of 12 rupees 50 per meter if the sheet is 2.5 meter wide. So what we are looking at is making the uh, tank, which means we are talking about the uh, surface area. So let's calculate the total surface area of the tank. So total surface area of tank would be equal to the lateral surface area because this is the surface area of four walls. So lateral surface area plus area of floor. We are not taking the ceiling in account, into account but it is open at the top. So lateral surface area, the formula is 2 times L plus B into H. And what will be the area of the floor? It will be length into breadth. Perfect. Let's calculate the total area. So this is 2 times length is given as 20. Breadth is given as 12 multiplied with height which is 8 plus length which is 20 multiplied with 12. So this is 32 into 2 that's 64 into 8. 64 into 8 plus 20 into 12 that's 12 into 2 is 24 so 240 and 64 into 8 that's 480 32 which is 512. So 512 plus 240 which is 752 square meter. Therefore, total surface area of tank is 752 square meter. So we need to, uh, we need uh, to find the cost of this much of uh, square meter of length or uh, square meter of sheet. Let's see what is given. A rate of 12 rupee 50 pesa per meter and the sheet is two and a half meter wide. So let's just look at this again. So this is my iron sheet. Okay, and this is uh, two, oh, sorry, no, this is the length. So the length is one meter because this is 12 rupee 50 pesa per meter and the width is given as two rupee, uh, two, not two rupee, 2.5 meter. So this much uh, iron sheet, which is 2.5 meter wide and one meter long costs rupees 12.50. Okay, so cost of 2.5 meter into 1 meter is equal to rupees 12.50, which means cost of 2.5 meter square is rupees 12.50. That's the cost of 2.5 meter square of sheet. We need how much meter square? We need 752 meter square. Therefore, cost of 752 meter square would be equal to rupees 12.50 multiplied with 752. Now again a long multiplication but let's not multiply now. Let's see if I can divide. Uh, in fact I haven't done the unitary method properly. This is cost of this would be equal to this 752 multiplied by 12.50 12 divided by 2.5. Let me just divide it. So 2.51, 2.55. Let's just look at this. Cost of 2.5 is equal to 12 rupee 50 pesa, which means cost of 752 using unitary method will be 752 into 12 rupee 50 pesa divided by 2.5. So 2.5 times 5 is this. So I have to multiply 752 with 5. That's 5 into 2, 10. 25 plus 1, 26. 35 plus 2, 37. So this is rupees. 3760. Therefore, cost of iron sheet is rupees 3760. Done. Uh, very interesting question purely from the fact that they had not given their rate in terms of area, they had given it in a different form, which is 12 rupees 50 pesa per meter. And the sheet is two and a half meter wide. 
So we draw, drew a rough diagram and realized that the cost of two and a half meters square is 12 rupee 50 pesa. Perfect. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we're doing is question number 13. Question number 13 says, a closed rectangular box is made of wood of 1.5 centimeter thickness. Again, we've done a question like this earlier. This is 1.5. The thickness of the wood is 1.5 centimeter. So this thickness is 1.5 centimeter. Perfect. Exterior length and breadth are 78 and 90. Capacity of box is 15 cubic decimeter cube. Oh, suddenly we have a different unit. This is decimeter and this is centimeter, which means I will have to convert either centimeter into decimeter or decimeter into centimeter, whichever way. Capacity of the box is given. We need to find the exterior height of the box. Okay. So let's just write this down. Uh, capacity of box is equal to 15 decimeter cube, which is equal to interior length into interior breadth into interior height. Perfect. So let's figure out the interior length, interior breadth and interior height. In exterior height is not given. So let exterior height be h. Everything is given in centimeter. So let's keep it in centimeter, h centimeter. Therefore, interior length is equal to exterior length minus two times the thickness of uh, wood, minus two times thickness of wood. So this would be 78 minus 2 into 1.5, that's 78 minus 3, which is 75 centimeter. Therefore, interior breadth is again equal to exterior breadth, which is given as 19 minus 2 times the thickness, 19 minus 3, which is 16 centimeter. And interior height would be equal to exterior height, which we've assumed to be h minus 2 times 1.5, which is h minus 3 centimeter. So we have got the exterior height, oh, sorry, interior height, uh, length and breadth, and we know the capacity, which is given as 15 cubic decimeter. So let's convert this into uh, centimeter cube. So we know one decimeter is equal to 10 centimeter, which means one decimeter cube, which is nothing but one decimeter multiplied with one decimeter into one decimeter is nothing but 1000 centimeter cube. Therefore, 15 decimeter cube would be equal to 15,000 centimeter cube. So internal volume let me just erase this diagram so that I have more space here to solve. Done. So interior volume is given equal to 75 multiplied with 16 multiplied with H minus 3, which is equal to 15,000. Done. Let's divide to get us the answer, which means H minus 3 would be equal to 15,000 divided by 75 into 16. 75 1 and 75 2 is 150 which means two more zeros. This is uh, 4 into 4. This is 4 into 50. This is 4 1. This is 4 1 2.5. Yes 12.5. Therefore h minus 3 is equal to 12.5 centimeter which means h is equal to 15.5 centimeter. Let's read the question and figure out what do they want. Uh, find the exterior height, which we've taken it to be h. Perfect. Therefore, exterior height is 
15.5 centimeter. Done. Let's look at the last question of this exercise. The last question of this exercise that we do is question number 16. Again, a very interesting question. Let's look at it. It says four identical cubes are joined end to end to form a cube world. Now I have for this diagram, I have put three of them together. There is one more. Imagine that this is put here. Uh, my drawing obviously is very good. You all of you know that, but I will still try and draw. Okay, something like this. Something like this. Yeah. So four of them are put next to each other joined end to end so one end is joined these are four identical cubes which means if each edge is x the length is x the breadth is x the depth is x so this is also x this is x this is x this is x which means this is the new cuboid which is being formed this is the new cuboid which is being formed so this is the length of the new cuboid this is the depth of the new cuboid and this is the height of the new cuboid. Perfect. Let's look at the question and figure out what do they want us to figure out. Four identical cubes are joined end to end to form a cuboid. Done. Total surface of the resultant cuboid is 648 square centimeter. Find the length of each edge of cube. Okay. So let edge of cube be x centimeter. Okay, so let edge of each cube be x centimeter, which means length of cuboid, resultant cuboid is 4 times x because you're putting them together is 4x centimeter. Breadth of cuboid is still remains x centimeter and height also remains x centimeter. That's why I do a diagram for you to understand when you're putting them side to side, the length gets added, but the breadth and height remain the same. What is given of the uh, cuboid is the total surface area. So total surface area of a cuboid we know is two times LB plus LH plus BH. What this is given is 648. So two times LB. LB is length into breadth, which is 4x into x, that's 4x square, plus L into h, which is 4x into x, again 4x square, plus breadth into h, which is x into x, that's x square. This is given equal to 648. Let's divide, so this is 4 plus 4, 8 plus 1, 9. 9x square is equal to 324. Yes, 9x square is equal to 324. Next, uh, x square would be equal to 324 divided by 9, which is 9 into uh, 327. Yes, this is divisible, 9 into 327, that's 54. 9 into 6, 54. Therefore, x is equal to 6 centimeter. Done. So, we need to find the length of each cube. So, this is answer part 1. Length of each cube is 6 centimeter. That's the answer to the first part. Also find the ratio between the surface area of the resultant cuboid, which we already know, and the surface area of a cube. Okay, so surface area of a cube is given by the formula 6L square. In this case, 6 into 6 square. We need to find the ratio. So ratio of is equal ratio is of total surface area of cuboid and this is surface area of total surface area of a cube. In this case, the ratio is 648 upon 6 into 6 into 6. Let's divide 6, 1. 61086 61636 6, 6, 6. No, this is not 36. This is divided by 3. 6 1 is a 6. Let me just do this again. I think I've uh, not divided it properly. Let me just redo this calculation. 
So this was 648 divided by 6 into 6 into 6. Now this is 36, I've written that 6 square. So 6, 1, 6, 1, 48, which means 0, and 6, 0, 8. Perfect. This is 6, 1, this will be 6, 1 is a 6, that's 48. Again, 18, 6, 1, 6, 3. So the ratio is 3 is to 1. Perfect. That brings me to an end of this exercise. Some homework questions for you. Homework question for you would be question number 14 and question number 15. Thank you so much. Take care. Be safe. I'll see you with the next video. Bye-bye.